Hey, it's the preacher, and it's my day off, and I got a little chore to do. We got an old dead snag we need to push over. I like to leave these old trees on the property for woodpeckers and squirrels and even wood ducks. And as long as they're not going to fall on anything important, I let them let them lay there and, and rot or stand there and rot standing up. But uh, the last couple days, I've seen some wood uh, some uh, wood ducks flying around looking for for dens in the trees, and I've got several trees with holes in them. And I saw them in this tree here, and I can't let this tree stay standing. Uh, number one, it's really bad. It's about to fall. Number two, um, it's leaning over my driveway. So one of these days we're going to wake up after a storm and it's going to be across our driveway and we're not going to be able to get out. So I need to push it over. Now I'll show it to you. And uh, you, can, uh, you can see it here. Pretty tall tree. I don't know, maybe 30 foot. But the problem that's got me concerned is it's, it's hollow. And uh, you can see that hole. I mean, can you tell how much of my arm? I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm just barely reaching in there. Anyways, clearly rotten, clearly dead, clearly I can't leave it. Now, I've got, I've got a big tractor. I don't know if you can see. I've got about a... Probably a hundred horse, New Holland, four wheel drive, front wheel assist, whatever you want to call it. That dog's driving me nuts. I could easily come up here with the hay forks and push this over. It's already pretty weak, but that wouldn't be any fun. I've done that a bunch. Champ, go. Nobody can hear when you're tromping through the leaves. So I've done that, but wouldn't it be better if we shot it with some Tannerite? Matter of fact, on the back side, the other side, there's a little crook. I've kind of cleaned out the uh, the bark, and I'm going to put some tanner right in there. I've got four of these little half pounders, and uh, let's put one in there. We'll back off over there. I'm not going to give you the yardage because it says to be 100 yards away. Just pretend I'm 100 yards away. There. <coughs> let's see what happens. Y'all ready? I'm ready. Far in a hole. Come on, baby. Here we go. <laughs> we blew a hole right through the middle of it. It did. I can see daylight coming out the hole. <laughs> I just blew a hole in it. If there's anything up in that holler, I bet he thinks <laughs> he's saying drop the bomb on him. <laughs> Man, I was expecting a bigger, bigger boom. three of them buggers in there. Well, I think it's so thin around the edges. Yeah. All right, you ready? Yeah. ready. Here we go, I'm going to try to hit him again. Bigger hole. Blow stuff from over here. I gotta tell you, if you've been standing around here, you've got pepper good. There's something real good. I think peaches coming all the way back here. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I just blowing holes in it though. That's
Well, let's go back here and see what's left of the logs. I took the tractor and tried to break up the stump all I could. And uh, took most of the logs and put them over there on that bigger fire. And I just burned enough limbs and brush here. To, the stump was hollow, but it still had some stuff on the outside of it sticking up. Anyways. Champ will walk in the picture here in a minute. You can see how big the fire is compared to him. He's a full-size shepherd. Over here's uh, trees I've been burning on for quite a while. Matter of fact, you can kind of see that pile of ashes there. I had a big fire going there and I had one going under this tree uh, last week. <coughs> last Saturday and uh, I burned all I could burn and you know there were several trees here from a storm eight years ago I think there was four trees burnt down here I'm gonna let that finish up and just burn that, that may burn for <laughs> that big uh, that big piece there I bet that thing will burn for two days um, as long as I and as long as I keep the logs pushed up uh, so that they kind of keep you know heat off one another if you scatter fire out it'll die down if you push a fire up it'll it'll continue to burn when it's coals like that and anyways i'm just gonna let it let it burn down and i mean those logs are too big for me to handle and i already took the tractor back um and you can see i got so many trees in here it's hard to get around in a big 100 horse tractor uh, with a front end loader and so I'm just gonna let these burn down tonight. And that thing lit up. So we didn't do anything fun today. I, I really wanted it to be fun and dramatic. I wanted the uh, I wanted the tannerite to blow up and the tree to fall, but uh, it was just too much hard wood. Even though that tree was hollow and only a couple inches thick of hard wood, it was most of the way around. So. We shot it with some tannerite, and then I ended up having to push it over with a tractor. So, anyways, this was my day off. Pretty boring and uneventful. Probably should have went fishing, but it's supposed to rain tomorrow, and I wanted to get this lit and uh, get it burning tonight. And I figured the rain will come along and uh, put it all out. And that thing's burning like somebody poured gas on it. Huh. Anyways, thanks for watching.